Next, let's show you how to make your own images. Now, this is an optional step that you can do if you want. So this is the starter project, and I'm going to look inside the files, and I'm going to edit one of the Space Invader art files. So I'll find an enemy, and we'll edit it. So I'm going to open uh, this enemy here, and I'm going to open them in Paint, your favorite drawing program, and any and any application that can edit bump files can work. And as you can see, it's pretty small, so let's make them bigger. So in this mode, we see that a white is going to show up as a pixel on the screen, and a black will show up as, as, a, as a blank. And so I'm going to uh, change this guy to make him a very scary guy by moving his insides. And then let's make them a little more, a little more meaty here, and have great big, um, and have great big ears, because the ears are scary. And we'll give them more, more fluff around the outside. Remember, I got to leave two pixels all around, so we'll make them really scary. Oops, not that one. So now I have a new image that I want to create. I save as, and this step is important for you to make sure you save it as a 16 color uh, BMP. And so we're going to call him Small Enemy uh, New. Give him whatever name you want. All right, so we've just created the bump file. A new bump file and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert that bump file into a um, I'm going to convert that bump file into text file okay now where is that it's called uh, BMP convert I'm going to search by name okay come on where are you let's go right there you see it oh yeah I'm right on it okay so I'm going to use this executable uh, which will take a bump file and create a text file. So I got to remember the name of the file I just created, which was small enemy new. And into this window, I'm going to write the name of this file I just created, small enemy new. Hit enter. And this created a, a text file. So I'll find where it went small enemy new text. So I'll open up the one I just created in a text editor. You can see this is now C code. I will copy it. And now I'm going to go over to my, my application here. And I'm going to paste the bad boy right in there. And now I have a new image that I can create, that I can display. So let's draw them on the screen, show you what it looks like. So right here, I'm going to copy, paste, okay, take his name, it's called small enemy new. Where would you like to put them? Let's put them in the middle. Uh, let's see, uh, halfway across is uh, 48, uh, halfway down is 24. Again, this will put him at the middle at location x equals 48. Um, y equals 24, so we will build, uh, download, uh, debug. So again on the screen we see uh, nothing left over from last time, and so we will step over, step over, step over. This will clear the, the RAM screen, this will draw the new enemy, and then when I hit the display buffer, we can see our new enemy is drawn on the screen. Very scary looking fellow is he. So that's a summary of how it is you could create your own bump images if you want to modify the game to make it more fun.